This video is brought to you by iBook. And uh, as you can see, I've received a package from uh, iBoot, um, the company that gave me the test unit for a review. Um, as you can see, I'm from Hong Kong, and uh, the post postage is quite uh, cheap, just 10 US dollars for local posting, and uh, 30 dollars for uh, standard in international posting and fifty dollars for uh, express. So, without further ado, let's open the package. So, um, before we open the package, just look at it as um, very well, well packed. Um, it's quite strong. So. You can see um, we got the box, which is the miner inside, um, the micro USB to USB cable, the side, and the power unit, which is the 2.5 um, millimeter, um, 12, 12 volt, 5 amp power supply, and then of course the card, uh, which is the director Clint, who gave me this unit. Um, he's based in Hong Kong, so he's a very nice guy. And here is the miner. Let's put that aside. So here's the rock miner. It's very nice, it's very smooth box, heavy. Slide open it. And there's a foam. Protective box, the miner, and here it is. Let's put those aside. And yeah, uh, there's a fan, and then uh, there are two heat sinks. So one, two. Um, I suggest you guys put the miner like this, or like this, whichever way, so the air can come in and go out because if you put it like this they'll come in and can't go out so let's put it up like this and um, it has been tested by a few other miners like people that this is the best way to cool the miner down so the PC board is where the ASIC miner have like located uh, we can't see it but it's somewhere inside the black thing which is the, um, part of the uh, heatsink so I'll just quickly set up and tell you like, how to set up and uh, we'll start the installation afterwards so um, all you have to do is to plug in your power supply which is here quite dark but yep here and it will lead to here just plug in the adapter with a power brick and two watts and there's a there's a uh, jack here so here that's the jack and just plug it in and as you can see that's the uh, micro USB which we're going to use this to plug it in and um, for the USB, I'm going to plug it to the computer. So um, let's just power up the miner and. For video purpose, I'm gonna place it like this. But when I'm start, when I start mining, I'm gonna place it like this. So as you can see, there's a um, red light, which means um, starting up. And once it's mining, there should be a green light or blue light uh, flashing. 
so um, that indicates um, accepted shares so um, I'm going to, today in this video I'll be using a CG miner and a SATDIC um, USB installation software so without further ado let's uh, jump into my screen and I'll show you how to set up the miner so um, welcome to my desktop and um, to in order to make the R box work um, you need these two files which we can extract the CG miner 4.4 for Windows and the SADIC uh, app application so yep um, so to download the CG miner go to ck.colorvast.org slash app slash CG miner the link will be in the description and um, you can choose all the files that suit your um, OS but for now it's just Windows so let's download CG Miner 4.4 Windows dot zip and um, it's going to be really quick and while it's downloading just go to sadic.aqo.ie link will also be in the description and uh, download the SATDIC for your respective OS for me it's Windows 8 so I'll download for Windows Vista or later just keep and um, also you need this um, paste bin which I made it um, that's your CG minor bat file which I'm going to tell you later how to use it so the link will also be in the description and just OK and close that and just minimize it and uh, once you've got these two files just extract to CG minor and you should see this file just drag the windows but drag the file inside the extracted file and you should see all these files so CG minor, that's what we're going to use. And um, just um, remember that your miner has to be plugged into your computer using the micro USB to USB cable and click on static 2.1 and just go list our device and you can see the CP2102 USB to ERT bridge controller. Click on that. And you should see an uh, install driver. For me, I've installed it already, so I'll just reinstall it. It should take long, uh, 5 to 10 seconds. And just close that afterwards. And um, before, we, oh, before we start mining, just go to Notepad or Notepad++ and go to the paste bin file and just copy that. So Control C or copy and then paste so um, the address is the, um, is the address of your pool so address is stratum dot um, and you can use sd and a colon that's your port 334 and then user and password password I'll just X and then user I'm using my um, I'm using my address my Bitcoin address so I'm just going to delete this let just copy that one and this is your um, not every not every not every pool um, requires the address. For example, slush pool requires a username. <coughs> Excuse me, so save as and then desktop, just find CG minor. Just place, um, just name it as start and then save as type, batch file, and save. Just close that, minimize it, and you just you should see um, start dot batch file. Just maximize it. Windows batch file start. 
Let's click on that. And um, you can see here um, the, the miner um, is projected to mine for around 20, 34 giga hash to 40 giga hash, depending on the uh, frequency you set. So I'm using, I didn't change any frequency, so I'm using a default. So it's just mine around 34 giga hash per second. So um, the the blue light from the miner should start flashing, which means um, accept a share. And <coughs> as you can see, it's only 128 accepted shares. And then um, in the <coughs> hash rate error, which is 4, which is not that high. Uh, not that high. So um, there's the frequency 217 frequency megahertz. And the temperature is 35 degrees, it's not that hot. So uh, that's, the, that's how you set up the R box of Rock Miner. And before we leave, just check out our, our sponsor of the video. Using Bitcoin mining hardware has never been that easy with iBoot. iBoot provides a wide variety of hardware and accessories, such as Butterfly Labs, Avalon, and more. They are also the official reseller for the Rock Miner series such as R-Box and RK-Box. They sell accessories such as Power USB Hub, which is one of the most successful items to date. They provide power supplies and micro USB to USB cables. Visit them now at iBoot.com now and start mining Bitcoins.